Hi, welcome back to Drive North. Today I'm going to show you a recent trip we did up to Fairhead Lake State Park. This is a fantastic park. So far it's one of our favorites. It's about four hours north of Minneapolis and it's way up by the Canadian border. But before I get into showing you the park, you got to see what happened. Our trip was almost ruined before we even left the driveway. I like something sci-fi. All right, it's June 2019. We're getting ready to go up to Bearhead State Park, Bearhead Lake State Park. Sending the kids off to get some movies. <laughs> As we're two minutes away from leaving, this branch fell. Where did it come from? I don't even know. I don't see. Oh, where... it's that big up by the. Holy Look. Cow. So where did it hit the truck? Oh, I think it might have landed in between. Oh, I don't know. Where'd it come from? No, there's leaves up there. Yeah. Is there see any dents? No, there's no dents. If he would have been standing out here? Yeah, that could have been bad. Oh so you were just God. sitting in the truck? Yeah. Well, I would oh think he, maybe he would have uh, heard it and jumped out of the way. No, it just started writing and then it fell. Like well, you probably heard the yeah. water from the leaves falling. That's, and it doesn't even look... Like it came from anywhere. No, it doesn't even look... um. Well, I mean, oh, oh, way, way half of it's dead. Da Wait, do you guys well, see the it bottom way half? There? But so is that on that one, on this one, this one. Mom, look how high it was. I know. Nathan almost died. He saw it. it he was in the truck when it happened. I named our channel Drive North because in Minnesota that's what people tend to do on the weekends. You drive north to the lake, to the cabin, or out camping. And we're blessed that we're able to head out on Sundays. And that's what this traffic is. This is all the people coming back towards the city on a Sunday afternoon. Shut the truck off. Matthew, do you want to do the jack stands as I start to unhook everything? You know, I would have told them no to the PlayStation 4, but now it's actually okay that they brought it. I know. Oh, it's the rain. Yeah. Yeah, if I can get this working, we can watch a Twins game. Perfect. That's what I was hoping you could get it working for. So this is day two. It's been raining ever since we got here, except for like a half an hour, or maybe an hour, right when we got here. It rained all night, it's supposed to rain all day. The park consists of over 5,000 acres, and while it does have some smaller lakes within the park, the main focus is obviously Bearhead Lake itself. And this lake is over 670 acres, 
and the campground is situated right on one of the smaller bays of the lake which is perfect because they have all these little docks where you can drag your kayak out put it in the water and explore all the local wildlife close to your campsite and if you have a canoe a boat or even a kayak you can go out to one of the larger bays and try your luck at fishing this lake is well known for having an abundant supply of walleye northern pike crappie and different panfish now a lot of these sites they're not right on the water but they're right across from the water and if you pick the right site like site 53 here you'll actually get some lake views right from your campsite and right across the road from the campsites are all these little trails where you can walk out and get an authentic view of a beautiful minnesota lake All right, let's see if we can get those boys out of the camper. Got his good jeans on. And... Fishing versus Minecraft. Hey boys. What? Guaranteed 100% to catch sunnies with my setup. You guys want to go catch a few before we go into town? Stopping. Oh man, right at the head. Let's see. It's dead. Dead. I'll do it. Oh, he's got like brains coming out. <laughs> Should we kill him? Oh, no, that's a worm. That's a worm. No, I think we can save him. Okay, how do I? Dad, look at it. We've got already like 50 different fish. Oh, you just like. Yeah, we're not letting them go. We're putting them in this giant bucket. You haven't caught anything. Okay, look. Look, this one down. Let's see. No, that's a, that's a bluegill. Oh, it's a bluegill. This one's really soft. Okay. Did you guys count them? <laughs> You're literally just right. kicking them out of the water. Oh, I'm gonna eat you. Dingus. Oh, wait, no, it's not moving. Where's, where? Come here. Okay, we got eight. 18. 18 fish? Oh. Alright, that might be supper. Little baby plays. His tail came off. Huh. Alright, you got all the scales up on both sides? Well, not both sides. Alright, now come around. Alright, now not just slide it back and forth. Don't need to press that. Press the knife down a little bit at an angle like this. And just slide it gently. So I think Nathan, this might be five ounces of fish. It took us what an hour to make. Oh, Play. Oh, this actually might turn out good. park does have a public boat access if you wanted to come for the day and bring your own kayak or canoe. It is a $5 fee to get a one day pass. In addition to a dock for your watercraft, they also have a fishing pier right next by. And like most Minnesota State Parks, phenomenal hiking, gorgeous path. Don't forget to check out the Norberg Lake Trail. It's a little bit of a hike up to the lake and then there's a three mile loop around the lake itself but definitely worth checking out. It's a really uh, beautiful lake set in the middle of the woods here. Minnesota State Bird is the loon, and it's not uncommon to get close to them while you're out on the water in a boat, but while I was fishing and exploring the shoreline, I was able to get really close to one that was sitting on her nest, and I'm pretty sure she was sitting on an egg or two, um, but no worries, I was very careful that I didn't get too close to disturb her, but they really are a sight to see up close. They are just beautiful birds. They have such distinct markings and vivid colors. It was a really treat to see this one up as close as we did.
So there are some highlights from Bearhead Lake State Park. We are on a mission to visit every state park in the state. There's 67 state parks, and we've checked off 22 of them. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.